All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about current. And this is leading into how circuits work. So basically, we're going to define current to be the charge that flows in a conductor. So in a circuit, conventional current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. And that's, if you think back to um, electric fields, that's the direction that a positive charge would flow. And this was defined um, actually by Benjamin Franklin before we knew anything about charges. We've learned since that it's actually the electrons that flow. And either charge can flow, but it's going to be those electrons that are the ones that are the freest in your atom. So those are the ones that are moving in the wire a little bit, just a tiny bit. The motion of those causes a lot of different things to happen, and one of them is creates that electric field that causes that current to flow. And when the, the free charges in the conductor are flowing, we have something we'd talk about would be velocity. We have movement, we have things that are going somewhere, and so there's drift velocity. And that's just the natural motion of those charges in the conductor. And when they're moving, we talked a little bit about the fact that they're just kind of moving in a tiny, tiny bit. They don't just flow like water all the way through. You can't grab an electron and track it all the way around. It moves just a little bit, and it transfers its energy to the next one that moves just a little bit, and it moves just a little bit. And that's kind of how it works all the way around. Specifically, current is the rate of charge flowing past a location at a, at a specific time. So if you marked a spot, you'd be counting the charges that go by. And that kind of goes back to that idea that there's actually charges going around and around and around the loop. Not entirely what happens in reality, uh, but it works. It does depend on the material, which is whatever the, whatever the wire or the conductor are made out of. And it depends on the voltage being applied by the battery or voltage supply. We measure it in amps, which you're probably familiar with. That's just the short version of an ampere. And an amp is a coulomb per second, so charge per unit time. When you're looking at an equation for current, it's going to be current is charge over time. A little bit uh, extra about the current. Current is conserved. Uh, we have charge conserved, we have mass conserved, we have energy conserved, and we're going to throw in there um, conservation of current. And what that means is everywhere in the conductor, in the wire that the electrons are moving in, the current is the same at all those points. And we've got the example of the circuit right there. If you look at the example, you've got the two light bulbs. They are not using up electrons. The electrons still moving around. Um, they're actually getting the energy carried by those electrons. So current that goes into the light bulb is the same that comes out of the light bulb, is the same that flows back into the battery. And we all know that the circuits are never that simple. We build them that simply in labs. You may have experienced that um, when you do some hands-on labs or other things, but usually they're pretty complicated. And even the one in this picture is a little bit complicated. And when we talk about the current being the same everywhere in the conductor, we have uh, the junctions where the, the wire comes to a point and splits. So it leaves the, if we follow the path of this circuit, the wire leaves the battery, which, and then it goes to a spot where it's gonna split and one, one part of the current's gonna go through the light bulb at A and one part is gonna go through B and then it's gonna come back together again and it's gonna go through C and it's gonna go through D. So what happens is when it gets to the split, it actually does split and it splits based on the resistance in those light bulbs. And then it does add back together again. So if you look at that AB section of the circuit, the current coming in and out of there is equal. So if once it gets to that, that spot where it splits to A and B, it's going to split it in half if the bulbs are the same bulb, and then it's going to come back together and add back together, and that whole current that came out of the battery is back together. It's going to go through C, it's going to go through D, and then it's going to go th back to the battery. And I brought up batteries a couple times. Current flows through the battery. It doesn't create new electrons. It doesn't repower the current. It adds energy to it. Um, so it adds energy to the, the charges that are flowing. So they come out of that battery. They go to the light bulb. The voltage drops. So if you have three volts coming out of the battery, some of that voltage will drop at one of the light bulbs. The, the next light bulb drops a little bit more. And after it gets through whatever devices are hooked up, you don't have any voltage anymore, but you still have current. 
and it gets back to the battery. And because there are chemical reactions going on in the battery, those chemical reactions provide energy to the charges to go around again. And so batteries provide what's called electromotive force or EMF, and we also call it voltage. And, and so that's kind of like, if you've seen the, the water model, it's like the pump that, that makes the current flow. And that's a real quick overview of current. Alrighty, bye-bye.